you're a person who's run an SMMA for any length of time, what we're going to uh, show you, demonstrate for you today should blow your minds. Um, it's all about optimizing Facebook ad accounts, campaigns, without getting into Ads Manager. All right, Jacob, so um, let's go ahead, we'll jump right into it. But just as in, in, in terms of setting up what we're talking about today, can you just give me a 30 second walkthrough of what you're about to show us and why it's such a game changer for people running Facebook ads and especially people using Upex to do that? Yeah, so it's a it's a quick optimization that you can do that, especially for local lead gen, uh, will usually help kickstart campaigns. So this is an optimization that if you have an ad that's been running successfully and it kind of fatigues out, if you have uh, a campaign that just never gets off the ground in terms of delivering impressions, right? So there's I'm sure you've all run into experiences where you launch an ad and then you look at it three days later and Facebook's barely shown it to anybody. Um, you know, these are problems that are flagged by the Facebook algorithm is having issues. And so the easiest way to fix this problem is to kick the Facebook algorithm back into gear and actually start working for you. Um, and so we've got a cool little feature that will so do cool. that in, in one click. It's so, so cool. I, I'm bursting at the seams. And, and I do want to say just in ways, in, in terms of a setup as well, not that we need a bunch of time setting this up, but there's a lot of discussion. If you run ads for any length of time, or maybe you're even new to it, you've probably heard this term ad fatigue. And ad fatigue is a grossly misunderstood term. It's insinuating that the ad has been shown to a group of people so many times that, that, that the people are now no longer interested or the offer that is being extended is no longer attractive to those people. And what we found most of the time, and in fact, if you look in the description uh, below, we have a guide that walks you all through the entire thing, that instead of ad fatigue, what happens 90% of, of the time is something called algorithm fatigue. Which basically a very simplified way of, of understanding this is you, if your ad gets delivered into a certain part of the audience, it starts to get conversions. That's good. But not, not all areas of the audience are created equal. And so if it starts to taper, then what do you do? A lot of people will go in and start messing with the ad. Well, if the ad was performing, don't mm -hmm. mess with a good thing. Go in, click this one button in Upex. If you're using Upex, if you're not using Upex, this is a good reason to get in there. It's going to save you a ton of money on optimizing campaigns, dealing with uh, uh, you know campaign headaches and things like that. Just click the button and it will refresh. So did you want to take a minute and do some screen sharing and kind of walk us through this here, Jacob? Yeah, definitely. We could do that. And actually, just real quick, I just want to show people this as well, just to kind of give uh, the host has disabled screen sharing. Oh, that's me. Um, <laughs> All right, go ahead. So just to, just to give some physical proof uh, to what Sam just talked about, that it's not fatigue, right? It's algorithmic fatigue, but the ad itself may not be fatigued. There'll be other signs that will tell you the ad is fatigued, right? Most of the time, it's going to be though that algorithm fatigue, right? So I do I do want to show this and then we'll maybe uh, clarify a little bit more on the difference yeah, between sure. those. Yep. But I pulled up here on the Facebook ad library. I'm looking for local businesses. In this case, we're just doing weight loss. And I'm looking for people who are currently actively running ads today, the same ad that has been running, right? And um, they started actually running these ads a while back. So I want you to look at these ads, right? So these were launched back in April of 2022. As we keep going down, we're now look December of 2019, an ad that is still running today in yeah. November of 2022 for this Dr. Kaveen and Dr. Eller is still active today that started running on December 18th of 2019. So yes, you can in fact run an ad for a very, very long time. I am sure Dr. Kaveen and Dr. Eller that are doing weight loss medical marketing you know, for, for their clinic are very happy that their ad has been running since 2019 successfully, that to this day, it is still on and going. 
So I, I think this hopefully is helpful. I mean, if, if, if you, if you have, let's go ahead and we'll show, we'll show the actual, how this works, but while we're transitioning, I just want to, my hope here is that it almost like releases some weight off your shoulders because so many people go through so much effort and, Oh, I'm going to change the headline or, Oh, I'm going to change the, this or oh, if it was working, you guys, it works. You just need yep. to give the algorithm a little bit of a push and it will start going once again. So anyway, all right. All right. So now I'll switch over to the process here. So I kind of want to show you a little bit in real time. I already prepped this so you guys can kind of see this, but I want to show you, we're going to focus on one client specifically, but I'm going to go back here to like April. I'm going to do this here and I'm going to start off here in template metrics because this is going to go to what Sam was talking about with um it's not the ad it's the algorithm okay so we've got this uh, and actually let me backtrack this a little bit here so we've got this client and so they've been running the sciatica decompression campaign that we have for this client and it's getting overall decent results at 9.52 percent conversion rate 1.36 percent click-through rate you know you can say that the, the land the lead gen form maybe needs a little bit of work but it stalled out. It was launched back in um, the beginning of this month in, no in November, and it ran for a couple, it's, it's running since November 1st, it's now November 21st. It's only spent $193. It's only delivered 6,000 impressions. This campaign has stalled out and it is a perfect candidate for this ad or for this, uh, not ad fatigue, but this, I, I continue to call it ad fatigue because I know what I'm talking it's about. It's a reboot, but just a reboot. This, this reboot that needs to happen, okay? Now, if we actually go, and this is where Upex kind of does some cool stuff here, right? So if we do, um, let me find the actual campaign here. We can actually look at the it's ad the itself. Yeah, it, one, it was the one ad only. Yep. So if we actually look here at the actual ad itself, right? So it is this template, right? That we that this client is currently running has had twenty seven thousand dollars run through it. It's delivered over a million impressions. It typically gets a twelve percent conversion rate, sixteen dollar cost per leads. So to Sam's point, we know because of how Upex is really cool in aggregating all this information. We know it's not the campaign. The campaign is proven. We have all the really great metrics that tell us the campaign is proven. So what is the problem here? The problem is the algorithm needs to get its butt into gear, okay? So I don't need to go in and change the ad copy. I don't need to go in and change the ad images. None of that needs to be changed. Okay, so all we have to do is click the little circles here. And it's gonna ask me, do you confirm to refresh this campaign? I click okay. And I'm going to get a green check mark. So here's what this just did, right? So for those of you who um, who don't know, is when you change anything on the ad set level, or if you change like the headline on your your campaign or whatnot, it kicks the algorithm back into learning mode. All right. So and when you kick the algorithm back into learning mode, the algorithm will forget what it thought it knew and we'll start fresh. So when you click that button, what Upex is doing is it's going to the ad set level. And if you're targeting by a radius, it bumps the radius out by a mile. If you are not targeting by a radius, but by some other means, then it'll change on your age demographics. It'll bump up the low end of the age range. Let's say you, you're doing from 35 to 65 plus, it'll change that from 35 to 65 plus to 36 and 65 plus. So it'll just make a tiny change that re restarts the algorithm for you, okay? So you don't have to log into Ads Manor, make that change. It's gonna kick the algorithm back into gear and be able for you to start producing results, right? This right here, like I said, if your problems are, you're not getting impressions delivering, if the campaign was working, but you're starting to see it peter off, that's the button that you go and you click, right? And nine times out of 10, this is all the optimization that you need to do for your clients. Digging into the ad copy, the ad images, the lead gen forms, all that kind of stuff. That's if the campaign is not producing results, period, right? right. You've launched the campaign. It's a brand new campaign. No results are performing. 
Okay, then you have a problem with the campaign. But once you've got a proven campaign, all you need to do is click that button and it should fix your problems. Yeah. And and I will say just to, if you're wondering, well, how do I know if I have a problem with the actual campaign itself? The last video that Jake and I published at the very, the last 10 minutes, we go over the metrics that tell you those things. And we'll likely create a, a video just on that because it is, it probably deserves its own video. Um, but I will link in the description below. Like if you want to go back and say, well, how do I know if I have a, if my ad is actually good? Like, what is the thing that's going to flat? It's going to signal to me that I have a, a thumbs up, right? So I'll go ahead and post that in the description below. But this is a game changer for anybody who, if you employ a, a VA, a, a media buyer, anybody to go through and back and manage uh, underperforming ads, underperforming campaigns for campaigns that have tapered off, this will keep your employees yourself if you're doing it you know maybe if you're a smaller company or more boutique this will keep you out of ads manager and save you probably again if you're jumping in two hours a day it'll probably cut out about an hour and 55 minutes maybe i don't know who knows but <laughs> you guys get the point you can turn ads off individual underperforming ads you can turn those off individually from upex and you can now refresh reboot campaigns that were once performing, but now have suffered algorithmic fatigue and bada bing, bada boom, you are off to the races. So not only can you launch ads from high level in three clicks, you can now one click optimize following performance campaigns in just a single click. It's an absolute game changer. So we're excited about it. We hope you guys are excited about it. If you want to learn more about how to put this software into your agency, how to transition your SMMA into a SaaS agency, go to upex.com, check it out, and we'll see you on the next video.